There is something that I want us to talk about. There is a message that I've just received right now. I didn't want to talk about it because I had got no full information. But right now, that being that I have the information about it, let me just talk about it briefly and then uh, I also know or I also hear what you think at the comment section. Now, uh, Senator Cherengei, this is the second time that this senator is uh, driving this motion to parliament. That there is a need for an extension of a presidential president's term or presidential years, president years to, to seven years per term. That br brings us to 14, 14 years. So every term for a, pres for, to, for a president to serve should be seven years. This, I think late last year or early last year, this, the same, same thing happened. The same, same person took this thing to parliament. Now, according to the members of UDA Secretary General and uh, the members of UDA, they are saying that they are not aware of this thing, and even the president himself is saying that he is, he is opposing this thing. I want us to listen to the Cherengei statement, and then I come back so that I can read for you the statement that came from the Secretary General of UDA declining, saying that he is not aware and even the UDA members, UDA party does not support such kind of motion. The Kenya presidential election is always highly profiled as a result of it being conducted within a short period of time, thus making it a do or die adventure. The continuous campaign mood in the country has been occasioned by the perception that elections are held within the short period of five years. In any election period, we lose a whole year in campaigns, and another year is lost immediately after election because of the litigations in the Supreme Court and thereafter, transition period of new government settling down in the formation of new government, such as cabinet vetting by parliament, an appointment of the same, including senior government officials. In total, we lose two years in a period of five years, leaving only three years for a president and new government to work. It is therefore justifiable to increase the presidential term limit to seven years per term totaling to 14 years, if, it is, if someone is reelected to office. I am cognizant that these proposals shall alter the governance structure as envisaged in the Constitution of Kenya, which in turn shall be subjected to public referendum or popular initiative as highlighted under Article 257 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. To the critics, let's meet in the contest because our constitution envisages amendment of the constitution at any given time, so long as the threshold is met under the provisions of Article 256 and 257 through popular initiative. This is now what the UDA Alliance Party is saying. Bid to extend the presidential term limit Repugnant, reprogressive, and primitive Wednesday, 2nd October 2024. This is what it says. The United Democratic Alliance, UDA, has learned with great concern and disappointment that one of the party's elected leaders has tabled a constitution of Kenyan Amendment Bill 2024, which seeks to alter the constitutional term limits set for holders of elective offices by extending them. Of grave concern is that this cynical, profoundly misguided and self-serving bill contravenes a long-held aspiration of the people of Kenya to retire the un undemocratic entrenchment of uncon uncountable political monopolies and seeks to deny the people regular opportunities to hold leadership to account and directly exercise sovereign power. It does not seek to pursue any meaningful objective beyond illegitimate, myopic, and retrogressive ends. The, the masterminds and uh, sponsors of the Constitutional and Amendment Bill, who are evidently procured, pro preoccupied with sensational distractions and pa perverse indulg indulgence, in political uh, del delinquence and legislative mischiefs, have not engaged in sufficient reflection with regards to the historical origins, mis institutional basis, and political necessity of term limits. Neither have they delay con duly considered the explicit, uh, explicit duty of leadership to respect 
uphold and defend the letter and spirit of our constitution and our commitment to offer leadership of our common national project of fully actualizing its values and principle. UDA remembers, UDA remembers the, le the lessons of our national history and honors the long struggle of our people of Kenya for constitutional change, which delivered, which delivered us a, la a liberal, progressive, democratic, and inclusive constitutional uh, dispensation that has enabled our national mark impressive strides in consolidating our institutions, depending our democratic, projecting our freedom, and placing our economy on the sustainable path of indulsive property. The, part, the party therefore dis dissociates itself from the repugnant rep and backward bill and calls any of its rank and files who leads, supports, or is in any manner whatsoever involved with it to order. The bill is an incompatible with our policy and uh, aspirations. This juvenile political experimentation and delinquent and delinquent affront affront to our constitutional values must now crash to a halt. Secretary General. Hassan Omar Hassan. Now, I have something to say concerning this letter and all these rumors. There is a saying that goes that Penyemoshi Panamoto, and uh, we, we, have, we, just, we have to understand that uh, there is nothing that can happen in UDA without William Ruto being aware of, without all these members, or even without the Secretary General himself knowing what is happening. So these guys coming out and telling us that this letter or these rumors that uh, Senator Chiringue is spreading are false and they are not aware of them is a lie. Now, this thing must have been known by the president. Remember, even the even uh, deputy president himself confessed by saying that everything that happens within the party, the president must be aware. And even his impeachment, the person that is the, the force that is behind his impeachment is William Samoy Ruto. So why is it that this thing keeps on repeating itself? And why is it that it is happening right now when William Ruto knows very well that his term is 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 impeachment or is is presidency no one is considering and that is going to be a one term president why there are a lot of things that we need to ask ourselves but i just wanted you to know what is happening in the country that william ruto together with his with his allies are planning to extend the term limit for the president to 7 years from 5 years but the question is will the parliament accept such kind of constitution or will, they, will the parliament accept such kind of motion that has been taken or is being taken to parliament uh, to be read by the senator Cherenge himself? Will people like Sifuna accept such kind of motion? Will people like Onyonka accept what is going to happen? After all, guys, that is all for today. Let me also know what you think of the comment section. But just a reminder, if you are minute for the first time, please don't forget to take a minute, go there and click the sub subscribe button. You can also like, share, and drop me a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think and where you're watching these videos from. Until we meet again, I've been your host, Bonfessa Wino. Bye-bye.